All right, guys, welcome back to Minecraft Pixelmon Season Two. Um, real quickly, I want to let you guys know. As you can see, some things on the side are different. Um, I really want to let you guys know that off screen, uh, I did some rec uh, not recording, some leveling. Uh, I put the orb away after I filled it, so the orb is now full. But we're not gonna go for the orb shrine this episode maybe in a couple episodes but not right now we're gonna focus on leveling up um but as you can see some of my uh levels are different i have a chandelier now um so i was going to record and i went to record but it messed up again it was like five minutes um after i realized that it did mess up but uh, basically, Lucario gained went from 60 to 62. Scizor went from 65 to 66, and Chandelier evolved. That was pretty much it on that. Um, of course, we have a new mini map mod, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner. Um, I'm actually using the Zans mini map mod, or Sam, uh, yeah, Zans, something like that. I can't remember the exact mod's name, but I switched uh, those mods because uh, I don't know. I just it was easier, and the journey map was taking up too much, and it was making me lag. But it still has the beams. I mean, they're not as colorful. And where the freak is Pallet Town? I could have sw what? It's supposed to say Pallet Town on it. Hold on, let me see. Oh, M. Let me go to Wave Points, Pallet Town, latest death. Uh. Delete it. Yes. See, I can actually teleport to it, and then bam, I teleport straight to Pallet Town. I don't know where the signal is. It's supposed to be a little signal thing. But, oh well. So, yes. Um, so, some things are sh different. But look at this chandelier, guys. Like, look at this. Oh my gosh. He looks so cool. I love it. You're amazing. I love you. Okay. So, um... Yes, so uh, all my wave points are now gone, and we have to redo all that, which is fine, because we're actually going to go head over um, to there right now. Um, if you guys want to know what version I am currently running, oh, don't do that. Uh, I am currently now running on the latest version of Pixelmon, uh, which is the 3.2.3 version. Um, so that is cool. Uh, I think they fixed most of the crashing, so that means that we might not crash, which will be awesome. That would make my day. Um, oh, another quick announcement: at the end of this video, you are guys or you guys are about to see something that probably took me about an hour to make. And I know what you're gonna say, Dylan. That really took you an hour to make. Yes, it did. Um. It took me an hour to make because, uh, you know, finding the right pictures and, you know, doing what I actually wanted to do for this, um, you know, it took a long time and I wanted it to look good for you guys. And I want to know, you know, your guys' thoughts on um, my new outro. Um, I'll probably be using this outro for, hey, we got iron boots. Man, we're just, we have a full set of iron just because of these Pokemon. That is awesome. I'm actually going to put this on that. And we're going to use Chandelure. We're going to level him up. Um, try to get him to 70, maybe. Or just to see as high as we can go with him. Um, but yes, you know, I just want to make sure that it looked good for you guys. And I think it turned out pretty awesome. Um, of course, you know, it uh, shows you my previous video and stuff like that. Um, uh, excuse me. That was disgusting. But um, yes, that is a very cool thing that I am excited about. Like I said, you guys can let me know what you think about it in the comment sections or... You know what? You guys just liking the video means a lot um, to me. So that would also show me that you guys liked the new outro. Um, so yeah, that is one thing to look forward to. Of course, that will be at the end, like I said. Yeah. 
Take you down. Ugh. Gotta see what huh. It takes so long. They're they're it's such high levels now that it's gonna take forever to level them up. But you know, that's okay. I'm okay with that because you know, I want this to last as long as possible. Right now, it's a lot of leveling up and I realize that, but our goal is to get them all to a hundred or as close to as as close to a hundred as possible. But um we should be able to. I mean we have actually a lot of rare candies from uh off screen mining. As you guys know I go off screen mining um just because I don't have to do it on screen and if I die then you guys don't know about it. I make sure all my valuables aren't on me and stuff like that. And it progresses a series where I don't have to do that on screen and I can focus mainly on our Pokemon um, part of this. Um, so yes, that has been a big help just coming off screen and doing some off screen mining. I think we have a total of like 50 rare candies right now. I don't know if I'm going to make that go up, but that's 50 levels like that. Literally, that could get one Pokemon to a hundred. But as you guys know, I'm just gonna keep doing off-screen mining and gathering up rare candies. And then on the final day, when I say, "Okay, this this amount of rare candies and your levels now can get me a full team of 100," you know, that's when I will probably call this season. Um. And then we will do the ultimate final battle, which has been in great works for a long time. Okay, could you not? There we go. Oh, what? Oh, man, I'm out of that. Okay, Duke Trio, you're dead. Let me put that away. I like having a clear inventory because it looks cool. Um, if you guys are wondering, I am now uh, once again using the Pokeballers version of... 0.6 yeah version 06 uh, it's the beta texture pack for this new version looks pretty cool Mesa of course you know that's uh, something that's not what I think it is but it looks pretty cool I like it it's a cool little texture pack uh, of course I just decided that I've done a lot of uh, a couple videos now without a texture pack on and you know now I'm doing one with on, on, and then you guys can let me know, do you like the default one or this one? You guys can let me know that if you want me to keep using the texture pack, um, or if you like the default look, like I said, just let me know and then we can make that happen. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Fire blast. Oh no! Crap. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Well, I said it was gonna crash, but that was one time. That was one time, guys. That's that's one, and we got a good amount done in that one. Oh, Lucario's already level sixty-three. I ain't even paying attention to you leveling up. I feel so ashamed. Um, you should probably know. Man, we still haven't got a legendary. That's what I'm more upset about is that we haven't got a legendary. Like, I've already said if I got, you know, Kyogre, I'd probably switch him out with Samurott or the Ninja. Um, and then if I got, uh, what's, uh, Groudon, I'd probably switch him out for, I don't know. Man, that would be a hard one. Maybe the ninja again. But then I wouldn't have a water type for a fire type. Then I'd be weak there. I want to check something real quick. Um, I actually... I know that... Now, I know they spawn randomly. But... Uh, I'm pretty sure that I actually did... Um, I found this out that it will not spawn. 
So I actually have to find the biome and then go stress struck. What was I able on that? Uh, okay. Um, what about struck now? Crap. Okay. Um, because apparently because of some weird thing, um, I don't know what it is. My, uh, What's this called? These structures that are supposed to be what? Okay, so what's up here? <laughs> that I could have sworn it was a mesa. Maybe it's a mesa something. Ugh. Where's the mess? I don't have time. I'm just gonna fly on you. Ooh. Where are we? We are in the Mesa Plateau. Okay, so that's what it is. And then... Okay. Why can't it fit? Okay, it is not working at all. <laughs> what the freak? Do I need to, like, break these blocks? I don't have any tools on me. Because I... Hold on. You know what? We'll go over here. We're gonna go over here and see if this is. I think this is Mesa, 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 and then Mesa Plateau. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so there we go. Yes. Ah. Finally. Okay, so the structure. Um, now I gotta find the entrance to this place. Gosh darn it. Where is the entrance? Ah, right here. So this is the Moltres. Um, shrine so here's the little thing and if we have our if we had the fire orb um, we'd put it in there and it would spawn a Moltres and then we could catch him yay so yes that is uh, the Moltres shrine but the, apparently they do not spawn so I have to spawn them in like that but you know honestly we've gotten this far in the series like I, I'm not even mad about doing that. Like, I'm not worried. But I gotta find out what biome it is that the uh, frozen thing is at. And then we might, or we will, put a waypoint by it. And then we'll fly there or we'll teleport to it. Um, now that I know I can teleport. And I'm actually going to set a waypoint. So B, we're going to call it Moltres. Moltres Shrine. Uh, and let's see. It's, a, kind of, it's like a yellow bird, so I think, yeah, yellow would be nice. That's a nice, look at that, that's a nice yellow. And then, let me make sure that my wave points are actually working. Wave points, if I wanted a Moltres Shrine, Palatown, Teleport 2, bam! Let me see if I can teleport back. Wave points, Moltres Shrine, Teleport 2. Alright, so we're going to heal. Real quick, I know our Pokemon aren't dead, but we'll heal and then we'll teleport back. Or, um, you know what? We might actually, huh? Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and show you guys. So, if you guys know, remember, um, so these are all my chests. Hey, Charmander. So glad you're dancing. Um, but this right here, bam, look at these rare candies. 50 of them. So, yes, we do have them for the ultimate battle um, for the last day on this season two of Pixelmon, which is, I think, coming up probably soon. Uh, I don't really know when. And I don't know. Um, how long I might get them to like 70s I don't know I mean I know our I said our goal was to get them to a hundred but I won't even need them to be a hundred to you know battle I mean the opponents Pokemon are all level a hundred which sucks but I might not need it I don't know and if it takes two times that's okay because you know no, he probably won't. This is a team that will never die. No, they'll probably die. I'm just kidding. But, uh, no. So, yes. We have, uh, 
work handed. So I'm just saying, I'm just showing you guys that, you know, at any time, if, you know, if I feel that, um, you know, it's lasted long enough, or, hey, all right, or, you know, I just kind of feel like, okay, I have confidence in our Pokemon to, uh, you know, be able to take him down. And there is probably going to be one Pokemon that's going to be very, very hard to beat. <sighs> but, um, you know, his team, I haven't really, I don't remember, I don't think I've mentioned it. I'll go ahead and I'll tell you who the ultimate person is. The ultimate person is, um, if you're a Pokemon fan, even if you're not, you should know who this is, is the trainer, Red. Yes, we have a little custom NPC trainer dude up there that I have. His name is Red. He is legendary status, or no, he's, yeah, legendary or something like that, um, status, and he has a full party of six and they're all level 100 and uh let me see let me go to pallet town um and he's actually up there so on the final day of this grand series let me actually actually I can fly up there what am i doing um yes yeah, so on the final day we climb up this mountain and we walk up the stairs. That is a wild Sableye. And we battle Red. Now he has, um, like I said, the full party. Um, now when you look up online, I was like, okay, what Pokemon should he have? What Pokemon, you know, should he have um, for me to face? Like, I don't know. I, I never... I mean, I was into Pokemon, but I didn't get that much into it. I probably... I still... I'm not even current on the shows I know most of it though um, so I could tell you most of it I just you know am not current with it but um, yeah so I was like what Pokemon should he have and then I was like okay let's see what why is dude it's super effective it should kill him in one shot it's all water type the freak is going on he probably used something, didn't he? Revenge. Oh my gosh. He probably, was he used defense curl? Probably raised his defensive stats a lot. Alright. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, so I looked it up and it said that he had Charizard, Venusaur, Blastoise, Pikachu, Snorlax, and Lapras. So, that is his team and they're all level 100 and we have to take them down. Which is, like I said, not a problem because we have a fire type for Venusaur, water type for Charizard, and the grass type we have a Scizor, and we also have a fire type. So, and then Pikachu, we can take him down. Uh, electric is weak. I can't remember what. Uh, we have, I think, Scizor, and then Lucario can do clean up Lucario's fighting, so that could also help. Um, and then see Snorlax, Scizor can I think can take down Snorlax. Electivire can also take down Snorlax because he has some pretty good moves. And then yeah, so I mean our team is looking up, and I think we can beat him. I'm just saying I'm not saying that it's ending. I'm just saying that be you know aware that I could end it. Just be ready because the final day is upon us, and I am ready. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of Minecraft Pixelmon. If you did, make sure to leave a like, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace!
I just believe.